Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Edicware. Today I have brought another session on desktop GUI automation, but this time it is based on keyboard controls. So for most of the applications uh, where the controls or the parameters are not visible to the Pywin Auto, uh, in those cases we can use either the mouse control or the keyboard controls. But today my session is mostly focused on the keyboard controls and in my next session I will be showing you how you can use your mouse clicks or mouse controls for automating your application. So guys, if you are new to my channel, uh, please do subscribe my channel so that like you can uh, get uh, more notifications on my upcoming videos. So let us see how we can automate an application using uh, Pywin Auto keyboard controls. First we need to import Pywin Auto, then time is basically for uh, time delay. Then from Pywin Auto the application import application. Then from Pywin Auto keyboard import send keys. This is what we will be sending the keys, instructions, input. Now first of all we all know that app is equal to application dot start command line so we will be uh, writing something in the notepad so command line we will be starting this notepad dot exe then uh, we will be maximizing it so app dot notepad dot maximize this is the code for maximizing the window then once it is maximized so let me uh, enter something let me enter some texts so app dot notepad dot type underscore keys so we can send in two different ways and then we can go with app dot notepad dot type underscore keys with this uh, thing or else we can go with send keys but I will show you the disadvantage from with, with while we are using the send keys option directly so in type keys we are using hello space python space how may I help you so if you just skip this and if you don't put the other uh, parameters arguments at the time it will print correctly but there will not be any spaces available between the two words so you need to enter these arguments also with underscore spaces equal to true. Once it is done, then we will be having send underscore keys. So this is enter. So this is means you are pressing a enter. Next, so this is one time enter press key. Okay. Next, the next line I will be writing. Let's learn automating using Pywin Auto mouse control. Then for that after that I will be entering two times. Enter two. Means it will press two times enter. Then I will have app.notepad type underscore keys. Let's start with let's start with spaces this fine. Then I will have three enters. So this is how you can use an enter key using send underscore keys method. Next I will write app.notepad.type keys quit. Oh sorry. Uh, I will have this app.notepad.type underscore keys help. Then I will have a tab. So I can have three types at a time, tab 1, tab 2, tab 3, so three types. After tabs, I will be having a quit option. I will have a right text written quit. Then I will have enter, twice enter. After that, I have just showed you how or we can use send keys to write some texts uh, in the notepad. And it is very difficult. So you can see like for each, you need to put in this curl presses, so H-E-L-L-O. Then for space, you need to put SPS space. This is the uh, keyword for uh, space, getting a space in between two words. Then again, Python. So this way you need to write for if you're writing for n number of words. So with this, you can see like the type keys is more advantageous than send keys. But if you are, but for some cases, if you are not opening any application, say in this cases we have opened an application using app dot notepad. So you're you can use very much easily with type keys. But uh, Type keys will not work in some applications when you are not uh, calling those windows. So, like for some cases, you have just start a notepad. You have just to start a uh, uh, say a command prompt with uh, uh, system. What is the system cm command prompt? And it will just start, and you will just have some send keys there. So at the time, this is useful. But normally, we should avoid as much possible to use this. Then next, up key. Send underscore keys up. So three times it will go for up. Then this is for control A. So this is for control A. Means it will control A. And then sign underscore keys control C. This is control C. This is control A means control. It will select all. And the C means control C. It will copy. 
So you can use this both in the same same line like with this send and receive keys. Control A, Control C means Control all. It will select all and then it will copy. Once that send and receive keys press down. So one down option will be there and then send and receive keys enter to two enters. After that this will Control V. So I'll be pasting it out and then uh, I will be again pressing enter twice. Then uh, I will be having send keys. So this is nothing but shift plus is nothing but shift and two. So shift two means I need then uh, add the red symbol. So this will give me at the red. This will uh, yield me at the red symbol. Then I will just put a time slip two seconds. Maybe for C I will be showing time dot slip as five seconds. Then uh, control S. So this is uh, control S. So control save. Once the save dialog box will open, so app dot save is combo box that edit. I will be saving the file name as text file dot txt. Once that, after that, I will be just uh, pressing four tabs. So I will be showing you why. Once the save to text, right? Let me show you, show you. Not bad. Plus not bad. So once I save it, I will put a file name here. Then once done, I will be putting a one tab, two tab, three tab, four tab. So once four tab, one, two, three, one, two, three, and four tab. So fourth tab will be in save. In that I will be pressing enter. Else, if you are using normally like app dot save as dot save dot click, so it will automatically click. So instead we can use tab also option to do this. So various ways we can use this to automate an application. And then enter. So let us see. We are running the code. It's waiting five seconds, then uh, it's done. So, finally, save. So, you can see like first line, second line, then I have a one enter, then I have two enters, right? Let me see. First one is one enter, then I have two enters here, then I have three enters, and then help. Then again, I have two enters here, then I can return hello Python. Then again, I'm going for two or uh, three ups. One, two, three ups. One, two, three ups. Yeah, three ups. Then I've selected Control A. Then I have gone down one, and then I pressed enter this. I copy pasted this line, and then I even again went for uh, uh, Shift two. That is, uh, I need the add the red symbol. So here you can see the add the red symbol. So Shift also working. And you can also use Alt symbol to close the window. Let me show you that also to our, uh, how to use the alt symbol. Let me not uh, save it. Instead, I will show you how to close the window. Okay. Time to step. Send underscore keys. Percentage. Okay. F4. F4. So this is how. Code is for uh, shift. Uh, sorry, uh, Alt four, Alt. So let me run the code. So it will wait for five seconds and then it will go for Alt four. Means it will close the application. Yeah, it tried to close the application. So uh, it is asking me for whether you can see want to save or not. So okay. So this is how uh, we can automate an application using a keyboard but uh, you need to use mouse also for efficient uh, uh, for efficient automation uh, so that particular session i will be continuing tomorrow so i will be providing this link in the description box so you can use the available key key, key codes or keywords for your automation uh, hope you understood this video if not you can always write down to my email address that is rafikjavid to other at gmail.com i will try as much possible to help you guys so also if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it for getting more videos and for quick notifications and thank you for watching